Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to tell you about Canada's new tech talent strategy that provides open work permits to candidates from all over the world so that they can come to Canada and search for a job. Approved applicants will receive an open work permit for up to as long as 5 years. There's also no LMI required as there's a huge demand for tech talent in Canada right now. This is an excellent pathway towards permanent residency as an open work permit will allow you to work for any employer in any province in Canada. Moreover, your spouse or children will also be able to apply for temporary resident visas with a work or study permit as the situation may demand. For many occupations in these categories, you'll be able to earn anywhere between 91,000 to 150,000 Canadian dollars, so that's a huge incentive as well. This new pathway will target digital nomads, international mobility program, global skills strategy and startup visa program applicants along with H-1B visa holders from the US. You can start applying for your open work permit as early as the 16th of July this year and following this a few more programs are going to be introduced this year as well. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about the new tech talent strategy, the benefits you'll get, the changes it brings to existing programs and the four categories that will gain the most from it as well so do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comments section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let's start with what the new Tech Talent Strategy actually is. The Tech Talent Strategy is Canada's new pathway to encourage skilled workers to move to Canada along with their families. This new strategy includes new measures as well as improvements on some existing immigration programs to help businesses in Canada to thrive. Through this pathway, one can obtain an open work permit for a duration of up to 3 to 5 whole years which will allow them to work for any employer in Canada at any province or region. Dependent family members like a spouse or children can fly along with the primary applicant and they'll be given temporary work or student visas as the need may be. Individuals can even apply for their permanent residence after working for just one year in Canada and their dependent family members will receive their PR at the same time as well. For H-1B visa holders from the US, this measure will remain in effect for one year or until IRCC receives 10,000 applications in total. Do note that only principal applicants and not their accompanying family members will count toward the application cap. Now coming to who can benefit under this pathway. This pathway mainly comprises of four strategies starting with a new innovation stream under the International Mobility Program which will give candidates a 5-year employer-specific and open work permits for which no LMI approval will be needed. This will save a lot of time and money not only for overseas applicants like yourself but even your Canadian employers as well. This new innovation stream will help bring talented workers to Canada to help build more innovative businesses within Canada. The next category is for digital nomads or remote working professionals who currently just need a visitor visa to come to Canada and begin working. Measures are being put in place for digital nomads who initially enter Canada to work remotely to seek opportunities with Canadian employers. When they receive a job offer from a Canadian company, they would be able to bring their skills to a Canadian employer by applying for a temporary work permit or even permanent residence as the need may arise. The next category is for H-1B visa holders in the US to apply to come to Canada. As of July 16, 2023, H-1B specialty occupation visa holders in the US and their accompanying immediate family members will be eligible to apply to come to Canada. Approved applicants will receive an open work permit for up to 3 years in duration, allowing them to work for any employer anywhere in Canada for 3 years. Their spouses and children will also be eligible to apply for a temporary resident visa with a work or study permit as may be required. The duration of their visas will be the same as the primary applicant's visa duration. 
The last categories for those applying through the Global Skills Strategy and the Startup Visa program, mainly focusing on reducing the processing timelines for both these programs and introducing a few measures to improve program effectiveness, along with allocating more visas for 2023, 2024 and 2025, and also issuing work permits which are 3 years in duration instead of the current 1 year duration. Alright guys, so that was all about the new Tech Talent Pathway for Canada. For more immigration and travel tips, subscribe to this channel now. Do like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.